Hamilton here once again, and we're just going to go ahead and pick up where we left off in the Legend of Grimrock 2. Alright, so we just found the Moonblade and found out that we can't use it. It's actually a very good weapon from what I recall. Um, the Venom Edge, while okay, is really just another dagger. It can shoot a poison bolt, but realistically I don't think we've ever used it. So we'd want to replace it with the Moonblade ASAP. I think it's still better than the basic dagger though. Yeah, we still have the basic. Yeah, it's still, like, the Venom Edge is better than the basic dagger, but the, the Moonblade will be a massive step up in terms of damage. Plus it will hit more often. So let's see if anybody can carry that. He can, good. Now let's see if we can collect the, 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 the Wand of Fear for ourselves as well. What does Wand of Fear do? Cloud of Nightmares. Okay, so you can hit people with this. I think. Yeah, it's a weapon. But Cloud of Nightmares, what does that do? Well, pretty sure that would scare the living crap out of anyone. Requires Concentration 2, I believe that means that nobody except for Fen can use it. And he's mostly based on raw damage as opposed, well, not raw damage, but uh, crowd control. Freezing enemies and then letting everybody else kill them. So while that might be useful, I don't know how useful it would be for him and the way he's built. Okay, so we have both the keys now. We have checked the wands and everything. So let's try to make our way out of here and see if we can do anything here. Okay, so we know from just basically the sound that there's enemies over here. So what happens if we put stuff like here? Oh, we don't really need this. Nobody's going to really wear it. Um, what about this Wand of Fear? Anything? No? Okay. Well, we'll hang on to it for now. We do have the lizard wand to like spit. Yeah, that's a good question. What happens when we put the lizard wand there? Whatever it's called. Um, well, let's sort our keys out a little bit. Probably do us some good. Quick inventory management. Where is... Does Brander have it? Yes, he does. Okay, nothing seems to happen. Okay, so we don't know what we're supposed to do for that puzzle, so let's try to solve these. So we need our keys. Okay, so this is gonna ask us to just leave stuff behind. Is is this the same way? Yes it is. Okay, so let's Try to figure this out here. Okay, so we, so we step on that, those open. Have another shuriken here. That's nice. Once if we step here. 
Okay. Okay, so we can get out now. I don't know the significance of that is, unfortunately. Let's check out the other one. So once again, we just need to leave some stuff behind. And then we can put a rock here and there. See if there's anything back here to grab. Interesting. Okay, so if I put a... So if I put a rock, or just anything, on each of those, that opens up the way to an extent. Let's go ahead and quick save. So I, you know, don't accidentally fall into a pit and die horribly. While having my face, you know, chewed off by a couple of zombies who are just like, mm, delicious. And let's see. All right, I see. So we need to have it so that every single one of these is open. Well, so that there's a path to each one of these. So the big question is. What is controlled by what? Huh. Well, let's just map out the entire thing there. Should I have it? I think there's some significance to where the trapdoors are oriented. Um, let's look at those real quick. So in this direction, some are facing like left and right, some are facing up and down. Okay, I think I see like some correlations. Let's try to let's try to mark these. So that one, I believe, is like this. Yes. When I had it, it was like that as well. One left and right are like that as well. This one is a, it's a dash. We'll use an underscore. Well, when it lets us click, we'll use, when it lets us do it, we'll do an underscore. That one is, so those two are both uh, up slashes as well, or just vertical. Okay, so we have up, up on the right. And underscore, underscore on the left. If you're wondering why I'm doing this, uh, to be able to solve a puzzle, you need to sort of have some correlations. If you have no correlations, you really can't do anything with it. You have to have something to correlate things to. This back one is underscore as well. That's vertical, that's vertical.
Okay. So let's see what happens if we take everything off of... Off of like these. To, to get out of here. Do we know what's down there? We have no idea. So what we will do is we will use discretion. We'll go here and see what has changed. Okay. So that side modified some parts of this. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we will try to find out what panel, if increased, increased uh, toggles the ones over here. Over here and over here, how do these correlate to these? Uh, I have a feeling that it's just going to be um, like one of these is the front, the other one's the back. I don't know for sure, and I also just I also don't know what facing it's going to be, because the facing could be literally any direction, but it's probably going to be both, or, um, essentially. Um, So we will actually leave a rock here. Then we will look here and see what happens if we remove this wand. So that one up there dropped. Or did it? Where's the one way back there? No, it's that one. Oh! <laughs> uh. Okay. So this one corresponds to this one. So, so what R four I suppose? We'll make this one R four. So that probably means that if we look at that from that one being the center. So if we look at it like this, these three should be down on this one, and they are. Okay, let's find out how this one works. I think that one just went down. Yes, that is correct. Okay, so this one is L L6. And this one is L6. And what we need is to be able to get to so ones that we need. First off, we need this one. Um, let's see, it starts there, and then this one goes that direction. So let's mark where on the walls we need to be that have to be up.
Just gonna put the next one. Oops, that. And it looks like this one. So if that is L6, we're both we're basically looking at it as like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The same thing there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so let's relabel these. This is L6, so this would be L1, L2. L3, L4, L5, wait, no, what, what, what am I doing here, 4, 5, 6, this would be L7, L8, and L9, and this one would be R1, R2, R3, R4 is already done, R6, R7, R8, and R9. Okay, so the ones that we need up are... So we need this one, this one, this one, this one, just so looking at these toggles, if I have two of these open on the same side, it closes the corner. Um, let's test that. Yeah. So it toggles. Yeah, so because this one's closed, those are open. Okay. So that means there cannot be one next to it set next to the other that is open unless the others are gone are down. Hmm. So that would mean that we need this one, this one, this one we closed. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll put an X on the ones that are not, that we can leave closed. Oh, right, right, right. It doesn't like it when you stack. Um, icons on top of each other. We can leave this one and this one closed. Oh, wait. What am I doing here? I'm an idiot. Um, we can leave these two closed. We have to have this one open. If we have this one open, we have to have that one closed. Hmm. But remember that these have no bearing on these. Okay. Okay, I'm glad I didn't step on that. Um, okay, so the ones in the next two will be open. That makes my life a bit simpler. So we're able to then have... We'll have this one closed in that case.
because we don't need this one. We need this one open, because that will open basically all these three. Except... Yeah. No. Open these three. And we don't need this one open. L4, well, R4, R4. We do need this one open, so that's fine. That will be open. And we also need this one open. That complicates things. So it means that we need these open. So we might need to go here, here. These two have to be open. We don't have a choice. So let's just do the bare minimum. What is required that we have open? Like that's the big question. R7, this is R4, so... Come on now. This is R4, this is R4, so... This one has to be open. The, this one needs to be as well. This top one here doesn't have to be. Let's just go just to get the switches. And then eliminate from there. Okay, so we have our bare minimum. This won't help us. Uh, but we have the ones that have to be open. Now this one has to be open, meaning that if... Yeah, that if... Okay, so yeah, that's the correlation there. So what we have is... This has to be... this has to be closed. And this one has to be closed. So that means that in order to do that, we could have these two open, which would open all three of these. But we won't have this one open. No, wait, that works fine, actually. So we will have that open. That one will be open too. Now that means that we just need. So we need this one open, that one open, and that one open. Okay. So this one, so we have to have that open. Okay. I think I have our solution here. Let's test it. I don't know. If, I don't know if we're ever actually going to use the cannon, but we'll we'll get rid of some of this ammo. So is this one that needs to be open? Yes. As do the other two, actually. This one, however, we we only want we want this one open and that one open. Okay. That might do it. Let's no. Uh, yeah. Okay. So this one has to be open too. What am I doing here? Oh yeah, that's silly. <laughs> but of no consequence. So yeah, this one needs to be open as well. 
And I think we're done. Maybe. Uh, no, we're not. Because... That is... Uh, now closed. On top of that, well, one over there is closed. Oh, right, right, right. My brain are being slow. My brain are small today. Okay, so... Okay. So, this means one of these two need to... Stop. Oh, well, that's a... Simple fix. Done. Actually, that's all of Let's find out. Yes, it did. Very good. What is this? Polax. Two heavy two-handed weapon. It's not a reach weapon. It won't do nearly as much damage as the as the meteor. Uh, boiled crag beetle. Okay, very good. We'll go ahead and quick save, and we will then proceed toward just so we don't have to do that puzzle again actually this is leading us up okay very nice okay so this sort of feels like a similar version of what we just came from Have some more keys, have some more food. I wonder who's like... Well, I'm pretty sure that the Island Master is putting all this food out here for us. But, um, like, to what point? He taunts us saying that we're going to die, but then he seems to be helping us as well. Tome of Offerings. Tome of Sacrifice. So do we want to be an offering or a sacrifice today? Because remember kids, sec offerings are not always destroyed. Usually. Alright, so we will try the Tome of Offerings. Because it sounds the most like we'll probably survive. And what the hell is that thing? Oh, good. Nice knowing you. So I did something, I think it was trying to like freeze me or turn me to stone. Thing is, I don't know if one of your if one of your characters gets paralyzed, if it's just you can't move at all. That would really suck. As always, you want to... You want to make sure that you clear everything to the point where nothing could sneak up on you. Okay, so she's dead now. Or it. Can't really be certain it's a female.
Okay, so lots of people are starving. He's hungry. You're hungry as usual. So what happens if we start putting crap up here? Anything? Okay, what happens if we start putting crap um, up here? Hello. Um, okay, so it's not just a straight toggle. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll label these uh, 1 through 9 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, and complete. Takes 4 licks to get to the center of Tootsie World Pop. Ah oh man, I am really dating myself with that. Um, if, for those of you who are too young to know, the original, like, uh, not the original, um, it was, I forget the show, but it had a talking owl that was like a professor. And so, uh, one of the kids on the show, he asks the owl, how many looks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop, and he just like, he looks it four times and then just bites it. <laughs> and he's like, it takes four, as you can see. Alright, come on. Drop it. Drop it. The characters are all dogs. Okay. So with nothing up, with no sacrifice, with no offerings made, we have these. So we're going to call this A, we're going to call this one B, we're going to call this one C, then we're going to call this one X. This one Y, and this one Z. And our objective is to find out how 1 through 9 uh, react to uh, A, B, C, A through C, and X through Z. So, we know that 9 is... 9 is probably... No. So, null up. This one is also null up. And seven in the back is also null up. Now this one is null up as well. And the next one is null up. Uh, if you don't know, null essentially means uh, nothing. So nothing's happening and these are up. Now uh, this one will say null down. And null down. Okay, so everything has a null up and a null down value. Okay, good. Now we want to see how this modifies things. So that one doesn't do anything. 
Wonderful. What about this one? Nothing again. And that one. Absolutely nothing. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything, and that doesn't do anything. So it tells me there's probably a correlation here, like a row needs to have two things in it. Yes. Okay. So AZ. So, with A and Z, this toggles up. That tells us that we need A through B with something on them to bring these four up. However, by doing that, we're going to have these be um, covered, and these are going to basically be rendered null and void because they will go down. However, if you see there, there's the gate over there. So that tells us that this puzzle is designed up. We're going to be messing with these altars while we are in the puzzle. Okay, so we put something on here. All these are going to go down, and we're not going to be able to access it. Yeah. So this is the altar that's supposed to say permanently sealed off. Oh, if I take this one, I'm going to fall, though. No, I won't. Okay, yeah, I don't need to do the other one. Okay, well, that was that was remarkably easy. Okay, um, are there any enemies over here? Not that I see immediately. Whenever you see a bunch of clutter just laying around in uh, games like Legend of Grimrock, where any where you can get cornered, killed for hello. So these enemies are all melee, so I can essentially just shoot them until they die. There's really nothing they can do about it. If you have a tactical advantage, I guess uh, milk it for all it's worth. So maybe he will come over there now. Come get me. So guns jamming is the other big mechanic in this game. never actually seen them fall into the pits before. That is, uh, interesting. So we have some bombs there. Hearing something moving. Oh, it's a snake. I guess we'll use more arrows then.
Wait, what? Did we just... I don't get it. Did we just... How did we... Ah, oh, okay. Never mind. I'm a, I'm a genius. Um... That tells me that this... This gate didn't open. Interesting. Okay, so we're gonna... We're getting ready to move forward there. Let's see if there's anything in here. It doesn't really appear to be... We don't really see anything. So we will close that until we're given further information. Maybe if we just put some random crap on there. No. Once a very specific piece of crap. Which we don't have right now. I'm guessing. So. Oh, right, right. So something opened over here. Potion of healing. It's not all that useful to us right now. Potion of shield. So I have a feeling that the moment we take this key, all hell is going to break loose. So let's rest first. Let's quick save. Let's switch to our main weapons and then take the key. And then run for our lives. Hello. Oh, good. Okay, so it appears that the other one is just a skeleton, like a, a zombie, a skeleton, a mummy. So we'll just go and quickly kill him. Yeah, one shot. Oh, hi! Not gonna get frozen like your friend, huh? That's fine. Oh, well, happy day. That would have been so cool if he just shot her and killed her instantly. She's just like, I'm gonna cast a... Uh. Okay, so we have another one of these. Another pearl shield. Or pearl shield? I don't know. But, um... So we have some extra torches. Can we carry them? Yes. Okay, so... Just in case we need some extra torches, we have some. For any kind of torch puzzles. Wait, is that it? Okay, that's invisibility. Okay, so while this was a bit dangerous, it wasn't too, too bad. We still did fairly well. I think we did manage to explore everything as well. So, the, uh, the Tomb of Offerings wasn't all that bad. There was that snake going around, though, so I'm, I'm just curious as to if either of these open. It does not appear to be so. That still, like, concerns me that I can hear enemies walking around there. But this, I imagine, is going to loop around here, so... That's fine. I can't get to them right now because they literally are the other end of the map. Let's get outside of that, rest for a bit. Govod is hungry. Give him a, a toad. Give him a toad tongue. That is currently probably rotting. With all honesty, since it's been a while. 
Then we shall go into the Tomb of Sacrifice. Okay, so we have three sconces to put stuff in. I think we only have... Oh, we have five sconces to put stuff in. Five? Five, 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 five. And let's see, do we still have, like, big bag of torches? No, I don't think we do. Does Finn have a torch? Not as such. Does he have a torch? Not as such, so let's go find another torch. Then we will be right back into the action. Pretty sure there's a torch around here somewhere. Not entirely sure why there would be a torch around here, but, uh, you know, what can you do? I could be completely wrong, there might not be a torch here. Okay, yeah, I see a torch back there. That turns out the biggest ambush comes when you when you pick up that torch. So that is actually pretty good design there. It's uh if you don't know what just happened, we needed three extra torches, and there were three extra torches in this area that we could use, I think. No, no, there wasn't. Uh, there was only one extra torch. But the other torches that I picked up were actually uh, found in this level, so I wouldn't have to to entirely leave the area to go find torches. Okay, so all the torches are now lit. Is, is anything going to happen? Let's read this. Champion of the Sun. Champion, Guardian of the Moon. So that means this should be darkness. Yes. Hello. Get wrecked. Ooh, 80 damage. Jeez. Well, you were rather quickly. God damn it. Alright guys, and it does look like that is all the time I have for today. So we will get uh, Govod back. Govod back into the action. And that will be about all the time I have for today. Okay. Okay, so we just mapped out the rest of that, and yeah guys, that is going to be all the time I have for today, so I will see you next time on The Legend of Grimrock 2.